You know, there's a shot in Blood Simple where the camera is tracking down the bar and gets to a drunk and booms up over the drunk, booms down and continues again. And I was visiting Joel and Ethan in the cutting room one day and they had taken that shot out of the movie. And I said, why do you take this shot out of the movie? And, and Joel said, well, it's a little self-conscious. I said, the whole movie is self-conscious. You're gonna pick on that shot? My contribution to it artistically, I think, um, was significant on some level, but that, that show was, you know, it'd be like joining the Yankees right now and saying, I, you know, wow, I, I made them a good team, it's ridiculous. The rate of change and the quality of these tools and what they are allowing our filmmakers to do, uh, literally frame by frame, and delivering the sort of best experience keeps going like this. You don't have to be good at anything in this life if you've got passion for it. My career has proven that. So at the end of the day, <laughs> if I feel like I don't have the passion for it that I used to, I'm just gonna start putting out inferior work. And a lot of people will say, you've been doing that since Mall Rats. And I'd be like, thanks, Mom. And then... Um... <laughs> it's a great opportunity to, if you're a storyteller, to be able to reach as, as, as many people as we do every week and tell the kind of unique stories we do with the, with the amazing talent that we have that are able to tell those stories. I'm planning to direct and shoot my next feature film because I'm, I can't help myself. Yeah. Thank you. And I'd like to be able to do it because I'm so comfortable with this, having shot with this already, that 120 frames with the 360 shutter in 3D is like oversampling. And I, I had this vision of taking some of the tools of like multi-user online gaming and combining it with the power of social networking um, to create what we call um, social benefit storytelling, which is uh, the idea of injecting people inside of a narrative in order to create positive real-world results. I personally think it's great that you are able to watch my show, Desperate Housewives, on mobile devices that you can take with you wherever you go. I can be in your pocket. Doesn't cost extra. Oh wait, maybe it does. I love the business, but the business is under a lot of pressure right now. And if you're an indie filmmaker that's created their little baby and has taken it to a festival, you're going to be sorely disappointed if you think that you've got a real honest shot of having you know, this typical platform release that gets up to 750 or 1,000 screens, and you're not going to do a deal unless that gets presented to you. You know, Jim has said, you know, if you want a movie in color today, you want to shoot it in black and white and colorize it. If you want a movie today in 3D, shoot it in 3D. We talked about making the cameras smarter to take the onus off the, op the operators and the directors for having to manage the stereo space in real time. Well, that's there, you know, the, the smart rig technology, it's all embedded across the whole product line. We, we now think of television more as the content. We think of television as episodic storytelling, professionally produced episodic storytelling that, that's of a certain quality and caliber. And, and that content's now being consumed not only on those 55 inch flat screens, but also on iPads, on cell phones, um, on all, on all you know, forms of, of, of platforms at this point in time. I'm as surprised as anybody that we're going to get the Running Wild cast and crew together. Uh, it was a side and, deal. And, uh, and to do a claymation version seems, I know it's cutting corners. I don't know what that is, but it sounds really interesting. Ted told us that Stars had spent something like $15 million on billboards for Spartacus, and seven or eight percent, I don't know if I'm correct, like seven or eight percent of the people watch the show because of that. But then the people that watch Gladiator said, if you like this, watch Stars. It was something like 98 percent of the people watched it. So any of, you know, I made that is, up. Is, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> you made that up. Well, whether you made it up or not, it worked. But, you know, I love the idea that all the episodes, boom, are right there at once. Needless to say, that was the genesis of the sound of these tracker jackers was the sound of these, um, of these bicycle tires which later when we went to record them uh, and actually work on the sound, we, were, we used different tread depths of different types of uh, tire wheels and then also realized, well, you know, just the steady sound of them on the rollers wasn't really gonna deal with everything because we have a lot of scenes where you have the little, the little bugs flying in, then they fly out, they fly in, they attack her, they do all kinds of stuff. You know, going into the first season, we really thought that we would see giant spikes in social media if we were successful after episodes were airing. And so what we actually started seeing was that people were engaging on Facebook and Twitter and email 
during the show itself. And the engagement that was happening during the show was something that was really unpredicted by us and something we didn't see coming. Local is our lifeblood, you know, with, with the, you know, we have 130 radio stations and 28 television stations and obviously a very big outdoor presence as well. So local is extremely important. Um, you know, the, the, you're right, we do not get enough credit for caring about localism. There's nothing worse in our business as a studio than a show that lingers and, and is on the bubble every year and gets picked up and, and all of a sudden you find yourself with four or five seasons, a you know, hundred episodes or so, and it's a show no one even really knows is on the air or cares about. Well, this is, as you saw in the trailer, there, there, no self-respecting IMAX space film would be without a launch, and uh, so we had five cameras five at cameras the launch of the, the final mission. We have to be able to sell what we call 360s, which are the television side and the digital side paired together against an audience target for that client. Every form of the media tells a story in ways that others can't. I mean, a movie tells a story in a way that a television show can't. The television show tells a story in the way that a magazine can't or a newspaper. They're all different. Our philosophy is build the brand, figure out what the brand is when it's at its very best, and then really nourish that audience. And we'd rather get not get the greatest rating we can in every hour, but really try and build a great group of people that, are, that feel great loyalty to us. I think that's part of the fun of shooting this movie too, was to see the green screen and what we did on stage and then see the visuals that kind of came to life. Uh, it was pretty special.